Rivalries are what powers college sports. Not only playing against your most hated rival, but to try and beat them into submission. But what gets even more heated is when the players actually dislike each other and actually want to beat the opponent down. The new age is upon us and players find different ways to get under opponent's skins. In this episode, after a tweet is released, how will the Kansas players react? Welcome in to 688, the bowl with rivals coming in the town coach on a winning streak. How will the players be ready for a hot team? Uh, we have to be ready for each and every game. I think that's kind of been proven this, this season is we got to be ready. However, since it is Kansas State, I'm, I'm sure the emotions will be running a little higher than normal in this matchup. And I'm hoping that uh, it fuels our guys to the victory. Quarterback Patrick Jackson of Kansas State released a tweet this past week claiming that this isn't a rivalry game anymore because they have been the superior team for years now. How does this stand with you and your football team? Well, to be honest, it's brought a lot of attention late Wednesday evening, and we reached out to the players and told them not to retaliate on social media. That's not how we do things here at Kansas, and we don't want to get wrapped up in this stuff. I told the men to play the game and let the game speak for itself. Um, we'll be respectful of all Kansas State players and coaches and the university. We told the players if they reacted on social media or on the field during today's game that they might be suspended. So we have no room for that type of attitude on our team. So hopefully we can get a win today and move on to next week. Kansas coming in rank number eight in the nation, looking to pin a loss against a rival foe in Kansas State. Some high hopes coming into this game for both teams. Both teams needing to get that victory. Kansas needing to get that victory to stay alive in the college playoffs. And Kansas State needing to get the victory against a much-hated rival. Kansas coming in at 8-1 overall, 5-1 in the conference. Kansas State 4-2 in the conference, 5-4 overall. This will definitely be a big matchup and could be a very interesting game. Kansas State starting with the ball from the 20-yard line. Leverett going to get the handoff and a big gain there, 11 yards on the handoff inside. Not a good start for Kansas defense. Third and four, Jackson going to hand this one off to Leverett, but this time Kansas able to come up, make the stop. Huge stop by the linebacker, and just like that, Kansas is ball. Miller going to get the pitch out to Mills. Mills got some room. 14-yard rush on that. Kansas moving early. Robinson going to hand this one off to Mitchell up the middle. Mitchell, a big gain again. 12 yards for him on that carry. Second and 11, Robinson back and go to the end zone, and it's going to be caught by Chase. Brad Chase in the corner. They love that route. They run it a lot with Chase, and he's going to be beneficiary of the beautiful pass. Wide open, touchdown. Kansas up 7 0. Kansas back on offense here. Robinson back. He's going to scramble to the right, looking, looking. He's going to find Chase again. And a first down after 22 yards by the catch by Chase. Having a big day so far. Just gets around his guy. Works the angle. Knows that his quarterback is rolling out that way. And a first down for Kansas. Robinson back first and 10 in the red zone. He's going to scramble right again. And Chase, a beautiful catch. One-handed by Brad Chase. And that's going to be touchdown number two on the day for him. An amazing catch. One-handed. Catches that and a touchdown for Kansas. That's going to put them up 14 to nothing early. Robinson gets hit, but able to deliver at least a good enough ball that Chase can one hand catch it for the touchdown. Kansas State, Jackson going to fake the handoff. Looking, look, he's going to throw left. It's going to be intercepted by Greg Allen. And Greg Allen is going to take this one all the way back for another Kansas touchdown. The defense playing super well early. The offense not doing so bad itself. Kansas up 21 to nothing with 152 left to go in the first quarter. This defense has come to play today, and that's exactly what Coach Slacker Gaming wanted to see out of his guys today. First and 10, Jackson back again. He's going to scramble. He's going to take this one for himself. He pushes over the linebacker, 
And a first down for Patrick Jackson, 13 yards on the carry. Back again, third and 17. He's going to throw this one to Alfred, and Alfred's going to make a couple guys miss. He's got a first down and more. Breaks another tackle. Finally pushed out at the 15-yard line after a 42-yard reception from the tight end. Back to throw. It's going to be intercepted by Strickland. Strickland coming up and making the interception. Finally pushed out, but that's number two interception for this Kansas defense. The first one, a pick six. This one, just an interception close to the red zone. That's big for Kansas' defense. Jackson not playing well early. Robinson back on first and 10. He's look. He's going to find a wide open guy, and that's going to be Jason Gray. And Jason's going to take this one in for the easy touchdown. And Kansas up 28 to nothing early. Gray just missed him in by the safety. Safety forgot about him, and a touchdown for Kansas. First to 10, Jackson back. He's going to get hit by Ash, and that's going to be another sack for this Kansas defense. This defense playing very, very well early. Third and five, Jackson. Looks like it's going to be a screen. The screen is actually going to be covered up. It's going to be, looks like a fumble and picked up by Kansas defense. Ash coming up, or Crooks coming up and hitting the quarterback, knocking the ball out. And it's going to be picked up by Kansas defense. Unblock through the middle on the screen, and Kansas gets turnover again. Third and 13 after his sack, Robinson looking. He's going to find Gray again over the left side. Play ends up being broken. Gray comes back, 27 yards for Kansas. We talk all the time play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Second and goal, Robinson. Going to scramble to the right. Looks like he's got some room. He's going to take it himself, and he does just that. And 10-yard rushing touchdown for Reggie Robinson. Kansas up 35-0. On defense, Kansas, another sack. Looks like the linebacker coming up with the sack there. Skyler Miles looking to get the linebacker of the year award. That's going to help with the sack on Kansas State. Third and 15, Jackson back again looking for to make something happen. Vaughn's going to catch this for the first down. That's 17 yards on the reception. Kansas State finally moving. Looks like they're going to do another screen, but the screen's broken again. Kansas, another sack because they keep reading the screen plays. Fourth and 14, Kansas State going to try to kick the field goal, and it's going to be no good. Far to the left and a little low, and Kansas State still looking for their first points of the game. Down 35 nothing. Robinson under a minute left to go in the second quarter. He's going to go deep again to Jason Gray. Another broken play by the safety, and that's going to result in a 53-yard catch there. Jason Gray, three receptions, 144 yards so far, having himself a day. First and goal, 25 seconds left. Mitchell going to get his hand off up the middle and in. Kansas coming up early in the half, 42-0 at halftime. Kansas playing very, very well. The defense played very, very well, holding Kansas State to negative 20 yards rushing. Nothing for them there. Mitchell up the middle here is going to get 15 yards on the handoff. A good start to the third quarter by Kansas after being up 42-0. First and 10. Robinson going to pitch it to Mitchell. Mitchell's going to get the left side. He's going to make a guy miss, and could that be it? Finally brought down at about the two-yard line. Mitchell with the, the toss out there. Huge there, and Calvin Park's going to finish this one off with a touchdown of his own. Second and nine. Robinson going to pitch it out to Mills. Mills has daylight, and he's going to take this one to the house. One guy to beat. And he can, and just like that, 79-yard rushing touchdown for Albert Mills. Just when you forget about him, he attacks, and just like that, Kansas up 56-0 to zero with 2.02 left to go in the third quarter. Kansas running away with this one easy. Second and three. 
Kansas State Jackson back. Another blitz. He's going to get this one off to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to make a guy miss. And Vaughn finds daylight. Finally brought down at about the 15-yard line after a 52-yard reception for Vaughn. Jackson back third and eight. Looking to get a score here. And he's going to get just that. Burton open in the end zone. Deontay Burton, 14-yard touchdown pass for him. Mitchell going to get this handoff in the fourth quarter. 50 seconds left. Looking for a first down. He's going to get that and more. And just like that, looks like Kansas is going to solidify their victory. 56-7. to A huge win by Kansas. Just, just dominating the game early and just never looking back. Mills had a good game. Mitchell had a good game. Jason Gray had a good game, which was good to see. I mean, everyone seemed to have a good game. Even the defense having themselves a day, only holding them to seven points all game long against a team that's pretty good. Four and two record in the league. They're a very well coached team, but unable to get the victory today. Welcome into the press conference, coach. Kansas State looked a little lost today out there on both offense and defense, holding them to just seven points all game. What was working so well for you on both sides of the ball? Well, I think the biggest thing is the game plan we had, and we could have not have executed it better. Um, we were running the way we wanted to and passing the way we set it up. Um, when our defense started to play free again, so that was good to see. And they're coming up making plays left and right. I think the, the tweet really motivated them and fired the guys up today, and they played like we have never seen them before. And if we could play this way moving forward, the sky is the limit for this team. It seems like the guys played on fire today, but they never seem to get out of hand or scuffles or anything like that. Um, is that something you told them that if they participated in, they would have to set a few games? Yeah, as I said before, um, we told them that coming into this game that Kansas Jayhawks do not play um, dirty. We don't play that way. We need to keep our attitudes in check. If they wanted to be petty and hurt the team with penalties or be malicious, then they could set the bench. And there's a point uh, beyond sports where you have to just look at your fellow human and say, hey, we might not agree, we might be rivals, but that doesn't mean we need to be mean towards each other. And um, our team showed today that they could take care of business the right way. Thank you so much, Coach. Kansas Jayhawks win this one at home by the score of 56-7 to against their rivals, Kansas State. The KU Jayhawks will be taking on Iowa State Cyclones next weekend. Thank you so much for listening to 688 The Bull. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. We are closing in on a 1,000 subscribers, and that is kind of the next goal for us to do. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Slacker out.